Hey, yeah, so my name is Sebastian, um, also known at the YouTube channel Nama Japan. Still really uh, unknown, but I'm a German guy. I've been living in Japan for around two years now. Since uh, one year, I'm working in a, let's say, engineering company, living a normal Japanese businessman, salaryman life, you know, working my 40 hours a week. You must be uh, good at drinking beers because you are from Germany. So, like, well, when they hear I'm from Germany, they think the first three things that they always say is something about soccer, you know, uh, something about sausage, and something about beer. And all of these three thing things are true. <laughs> and today, I think we're gonna drink some Nihonshu. Let's see what he has prepared for us. So, let's check it out. Actually, like this. Restaurants is very specialized for Japanese sake. This has like a more than 50 kind of like Japanese right. sake. And it's everything is like color coded so you can know like uh, which flavors they yeah, have like yeah. this, this this map here which right, I right. found like very interesting. You have the more like I would, I would say like dry ones. Yeah. And then you have the more like sweeter Sweet ones. ones. Yes. And then the one in the middle uh, says the patterns <laughs> here. So <laughs> like Okay. So what are we starting with? Yeah, this is Dasai. Let's go with Dasai first. Dasai first? Yeah. Right. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Cheers. That's really easy to drink. Yeah. Uh, I would say it's rather on the sweet side. If you have never had Nihonshu, then this is probably a perfect gateway to yeah. bring you into it and say, like, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I like it. It's one of the easy ones. Yeah. This one is Ryu, Ryu. from Niigata Prefecture. Oh, Ni Niigata is very famous. Yeah, because Niigata is really good for making rice. Nihonshu comes from rice, so... Right, right. <laughs> Maybe you wash out our mouth a Yeah. Do you know how to say kanpai in German? Prost, right? Prost, yeah. yeah. Prost. Prost. Oh, Yeah. It's more dry, but it's still kind of fruity. I would say. A little bit more bitterness in, in the aftertaste. Yes. Yeah. Very, very good. So let me ask you a question. Since, yeah. since when have you been doing this YouTube thing? I've been doing this for two years. Uh, two years? Yeah. Pretty good. And I keep like posting one video per week. So right now I have like 110 or something like videos in total on my channel. Not bad. Yeah. How long does it take you to like edit a video? Like for me, I don't know, maybe I'm taking too much time. But... When you go out, then it probably takes like, you know, a couple of hours to go out and, you know, shoot the video. Yeah. But like, how long does it take you to cut the video together? The average, maybe 10 to 12 hours. 10 to 12 hours? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Because like, I have to cut because if it's like just too long, yeah. People uh, get bored to see it, so yeah. I only you know, pick up like some of the parts that I think is funny to watch. Yeah, it's not the cutting itself. It's like you have to watch everything again and again yeah. and again yeah. and again. And then something doesn't fit, you change something, then you have to watch it again. Yeah, it's like, that's what I do. Like yeah, yeah. maybe I do like three or four rounds. And also you have to make a thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, thumbnail you know, and all that. Titles, you know, like descriptions exactly. and whatever. For my videos, I add you know, some titles. Okay. Yeah. That takes me right. like another four or five hours. Right. I mean, you, you make your videos basically for a Japanese audience, Yeah, right? for a Japanese audience. The clam. Here in Japan, you have a lot of food that is like chewy and like texture. Right? Like it, you have to like the texture, and this definitely is one of them. But it actually also has a very, very nice sweet flavor to it. Like subtle, very subtle, and a little bit clammy, but very, very nice. I like this one. <laughs> Quite nice. Very interesting. I don't think you can get this kind of cheese mix uh, yeah. in, in, in the West or US. And, I mean, to be honest, Japan is not a cheese country. Yeah, I know. It's not at all a cheese country. If you talk to 100 
foreigners and ask them what they miss out of their own country, I would say 90 would, out of 100 would say cheese. So what kind of cheese do you like? There are so many like kinds, right? Cheddar, Parmigiano, uh, you know, like... Yeah, so I would say uh, or Parmesan, of course, and uh, and I would say like my actually favorite is probably like buffalo mozzarella. Ah. Have you had that? You don't need salt. You don't need olive oil. You don't need vinegar. It's just Eat it by like itself. so good by itself. And um, it's interesting. I eat everything. Japan has awesome food. Yeah, yeah. You can take, take them to okonomiyaki. Uh, everyone loves yeah. okonomiyaki. You take them for some karage. Everyone loves karage. Simple gyudon at Matsuya. Uh, it's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's simple. It costs yeah. 400 yen or what? Yeah. You get like a huge bowl of rice with like some super tasty. <laughs> あ、私のおじいちゃんちがあるところなんですけど、こちらが木本作りって言って、人工で作った乳酸菌とか酵母じゃなくて自然の乳酸菌と酵母を作って使っているものを作っているものなので、結構酸味が強くなるので特徴です
most of my company, like, they have a lot, we have a lot of foreigners actually in our company. We have like this issue to hire Japanese people mm -hmm. because nobody speaks English. And it's an absolute requirement. Like, minimum requirement is you need to be able to speak English. So we can find anyone. Let's say, and let's be generous here, out of 100, maybe 5 or 10 percent speak acceptable English. Because we have a lot of international business, we cooperate a lot with Germany and the US and so on. So you need English. Well, I can't hire you if you don't speak English. Like, I can't sit you in a call and everyone speaks English and you're like, oh, nani, nani, doesn't, that doesn't work. So basically, that's what they why they brought me over. Okay, okay. Because I can nice. Nice. Yeah. Bye. The cheese shiokara. It's fantastic. I love this stuff. It's such an unlikely pair, but it works so well. Do you like shiokara? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I do. Yeah, yeah. Number three. Number three. One, two, three. Yeah, some yeah. money. <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, I... okay. oh my god. <laughs> Somebody just <laughs> fell off <laughs> the chair. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of too much of this one. <laughs> yeah. So since like I, I burned my mouth a couple of times, I was a little bit careful with karagi. Is it hot? No. It's good. Is it strong? It's strong. It's strong. So, let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try it. So, number four. <laughs> okay, so... Yep. Uh, what is the difference between drinking in Germany and drinking in Japan? Ah, very good question. Very, very good question. In Germany, we would eat something and then start drinking. Oh. So, for example, we would get a dish, you know, and you would get your dish, I would get my dish. One plate, some steak, maybe some potatoes, maybe some vegetables, something like that. We eat, we eat, and then maybe some one or two sip. But mainly we focus on eating. After that is done, we start drinking. Oh, okay. So going to a bar or what? Going to a bar, staying in the bar, or... We like to go to clubs, actually. But it's not like clubs in Japan. You know, clubs in Japan have... Uh, a very bad reputation, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's more like uh, maybe cooking up something else. Or... Exactly. For a lot of people go to dance, to listen to the music, to um, just have to party with their friends. People in Germany they go with their girlfriend or their boyfriend mm. to clubs. It's absolutely normal to like you know keep dancing, keep partying, and so on. Yeah, I think that's like the, the main difference is... You can drink alcohol when you are at the uh, 18? 16. 16! Beer and wine from 16. When you're 16, you go try out some stuff, you know, get drunk a little bit, sometimes you puke, sometimes you have too much, yeah. but because you're young, it's no problem. You know, you recover. Next day, you're okay. Again. You cannot get the like very high like vodka or something. Like that. That's only 18. Uh, beer from 16 yeah. and vodka from 18. Yes. What's the difference? Because the alcohol is alcohol, right? Yeah, but so weird. Let's, let's say I drink this much alcohol, uh, this much vodka, and I'm 16. What does it do to me? It fucks me up. You, yeah. If I'm 18, I might understand because I had some cup of beers and so on. Maybe somebody already gave me a shot. I'm like, oh fuck. So there's a difference because most Germans they get like kind of interviews slowly. You get some experience. Yeah. You know what's too much. You know what's what is okay. Well, and then you don't go crazy. Just さっき<笑><笑>
Yeah, I trust her. Yeah, I trust she her. Is so good. I trust her too. Yeah. I mean. All right. Bye. Bye. Whoa. So fruity. Very fruity. Almost like pineapple. Very good. Very good. I like it. Like I like food, right? Yeah. But there's there's one thing I like most. It's ramen. In Tokyo, my favorite place is uh, in Rokuto. It's, uh, so what what is the name of the restaurant? Tanaka Shoten. Ah, Tanaka Shoten. Yeah. Oh, you know? Yeah. Pork bone. Pork yeah. Hakata. 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 Hakata Nagahama ramen. Yeah. If you like Hakata style tonkotsu ramen. By far the best place. Don't go to Ichiran, don't go to Ippudo, forget all that. You have to go there at least once in your life. That is uncomparable. And there's a lot of good ramen restaurants, but like recently I went to um, uh, Minya Ito. It's like the Skimen, right? Yeah, it's, the it's the highest rated. It's the highest rated ramen place in all of Japan. Go there! Get your ticket, go drink a beer, come back <laughs> and eat the best okay, man, you can get. It's so good, it's so good. Number five. Oh my god. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. <laughs> He's not good. Eight <laughs> one. Come back. はいはいはい。なるほどね。あ、美味しい美味しい。飲みやすい。うん。まあ、パンチはないけどね。なんかのライクビッグインパクト。バット、アイカンドリンクイズフォーメニーアワーズ。イツアイジーチュドリンク。
<笑>生麦生米生が<笑>もうできね生麦生米生卵入れた入れたいやいやいや No, this was fantastic. I really love this. Fantastic neon shoe, to be honest.、Um, surprising flavors. And it's all just made out of rice. You Japanese people, you can be proud to have such a drink that is your national drink. You should be proud of it. Spread it around the world, show it to everyone. And、um, what else can I say? Kampai. <laughs> <laughs>